Hi, I'm Mark Hussman, head football coach at the University of North Alabama. Today I want to share with you our jet sweep series and also all the compliments that we use off the jet sweep to attack defensive pursuit. It's been a great compliment to our offense and also has been a big part of helping lead our offense to average over 33 points in the last five years. It's a really simple system I feel like that can help you and there's a lot of things that you can do off of it. And on top of that, our players love running it. It's great to get guys involved in the scheme. And it's also a great way to get your best players' hands on the football. So sit back and let's see if we can learn something. Here I want to go over our offensive alignments real quick before we get into the, to the jet sweep play. Our offensive splits across the board are 24 inches across the board. Our quarterback's heels are at six yards. Superback's heels are at six yards. Our wide receivers, if the ball is in the middle, are on the numbers. The outside receivers are on the numbers. Our inside receivers are splitting the difference between the outside receiver and the tackle. Our offensive line rules are, are pretty simple on, on the jet sweep. If you're covered, you're going to stretch reach. If you're uncovered, you're going to stretch overtake. So depending on what you have, uh, depending on what you do, obviously. So right here, obviously, our, our play side tackle is going to try to stretch stretch reach and stay on and, and lock on the on the five technique stretch reach on the on the three with the guard the center is uncovered to his play side so now he's going to try to stretch overtake so he's going to work and make sure the the three doesn't come under and if he can he'll overtake the three and rub the the, the play side guard up the back or if he can get off if the if the three techniques get too wide then the center obviously is going to climb and try to get flat take an angle to be able to get a piece of the linebacker uh, backside is going to scoop. The best thing about the, the jet sweep, though, the key to, to, to blocking this play is two, two basic blocks. It's getting the five technique and it's getting the front side linebacker. What's, what's great about this play is obviously you don't really even have to block uh, these four guys in the box right here. If you can just get a piece of them, you've got a chance to have a good football play. Uh, your backside guys are not really uh, factors in this football play. If you can get a stalk block outside and you can get a scrape linebacker, you're in, you're in great shape. All right, next screen. All right, the jet, jet sweep skill rules. Now, a lot of people used to run the jet sweep, obviously, under center. And uh, the receiver would come uh, in motion, full speed, and the quarterback would pivot and give him the football, and he would try to, you know, circle the defense. But the, the, the factor with that is you didn't have anybody to account for the front side linebacker. You just had to outrun him, whether you were in double slot, whether you were in four wide. The receiver had to outrun the play side linebacker, and you maybe hope that the tackle could get up there, but that's really unrealistic. Well, now when you do it out of the gun, there's a little timing issue, but it's really, it's really uh, uh, not that hard, and we've had great success. But also, you've got an extra blocker right here to get the front side linebacker. So in essence, both outside receivers are going to stalk and get outside leverage to the play side. We talked about offensive line rules, stretch reach, stretch reach, stretch overtake, scoop on the back side. Front side, the, the super back, his rule is you have C-gap defender. So right here, he is the C-gap defender. So I'm going to make sure that he does not shoot upfield or get too wide where the tackle can't get him. I hope my tackle's going to get a good enough piece to where the super back can get the play side linebacker who eventually is going to be become a C-gap player also. But the key to tell your, your backs is to make sure that their eyes are always looking outside in because outside linebackers, safeties can walk up on the line. And if that's the case, he walks up here pre-snap, that is now the C-gap defender because nine times out of ten, somebody walks up here, he's going to come inside and become a B-gap defender. So now he would have to get the outside guy. I would get him.